Muhammad has two different heart defects. He has a narrowing in the big blood vessel, the aorta, that comes out of the heart and goes down to the body. And then he also had a large hole in the bottom chamber of his heart called the BSD. So we made a decision to take him to the cath lab to try to balloon and make the narrowing bigger, which would make him less symptomatic. I saw just the whole spread of emotion on Suha's face. Everything from, okay, I'm relieved, you're telling me that he's okay, to sobbing again. It was almost like a roller coaster of emotion like any mom would have. We're able to make the blood vessel bigger and make the pressure across it better. Then at the end, we had the struggles with trying to get him warmed up and get him to stop bleeding because he was so cold. And then just the just the sheer joy of even just seeing him again after such a long procedure. Uh, one kiss and then we gotta hurry. Was just a real thrill. Okay, he's doing great. And then ever since then, she had a smile that was too big for her face. A lot of teams come in and do the cases and then leave. But what's the legacy you're leaving there? Who can then do that same operation the next month, the month after that? So I teach them how to do these operations. But the idea that being that when we're gone, they're able to do these same operations repetitively without us being here. So we purposely planned on doing very basic cases, basic for pediatric heart surgery. It's sort of a paradigm shift because adults often trail off. Kids, what they'll do to you is they'll come along and they'll drop off a cliff. We got maybe 30 seconds to do something or the child's dead. So you never really know going in there what you're gonna get. So be prepared for the greatest, but the worst always as well. A lot of Christian physicians pray with their patients before they go in, so it's a pretty normal, normal thing for us to do at home. Dad is there and you can tell, oh my gosh, this is a father who loves his baby girl. Mom was over in the corner, she was really distraught. She was, she couldn't even be with the, the discussion. There's a big team and lots of different doctors that are helping. What I explained to him is we call one of the names for Jesus is the great physician. So before we ever start your procedures, we always ask the great physician for his help. We may treat, but Jesus is the healer. We can put two pieces of tissue together, but Jesus is the one that sends everything to heal him. So we're, we're wondering if you would allow us to pray for your daughter before we go to surgery. He said, of course, pray for my daughter. We prayed that the great physician would be there. And he started to sob. We pray for us in Jesus' name. Amen. And then when we were done with the prayer, we started taking the baby away. And then the mother, who, who couldn't even bear to go through this situation, yelled out. And I don't even know what she yelled out, but it was like a mother, mother coming to a child. And she ran up there and kissed that baby. I said, I gotta say, I gotta say bye one more time in case it's the last time. 